Hello everybody and welcome back to Space Astronomy. My name is Wolfhart and today we're going to be working on setting up the NASA room as well as a couple other small things. So, I've got in this chest everything we need for today, hopefully. <laughs> the only thing I do have to make sure is we grab these guys. So, we've got all kinds of pipes, tanks, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So, we're making a couple of things, which one of them I probably should have made sooner. And it involves these guys. So, we're going to grab this guy. He's going to get moved into the NASA room. We're going to grab all of this stuff. Why am I holding you and you? I want a semi-clear inventory for this. So, we're going to grab these guys first. And what we're going to make with this is a redstone furnace. A machine frame, coil, and redstone. There we go. We now have an electric furnace. We can use power to get this stuff going. And I need to check something because I've been trying to report a bug. And hopefully, if this worked, I will have the problem again. My reactor has been... Like, dumping its energy and, or dumping its fuel without giving me the power or the waste. And it's fine. That's why I'm missing this chunk of fuel, or this chunk of energy up here. Is because just for some reason I would do something and this guy would go, it would turn itself off. It would have no fuel, no waste, no nothing. And if I looked in here, there weren't any ingots. And I, it would do this like right after I put four full ingots in there. Even at full power, I don't think it can go through that much energy in the amount of time it was. Also, as you can see, <laughs> our cows are coming through the window or are coming through the walls. I was about to say, are you on this side? So, this room is doing well. I'm thinking about redesigning a little bit thinking about it. Haven't really decided whether or not I'm going to do it or not. And if I do, things might change ever so slightly in here. But let's go ahead and turn that on. We're getting a bunch of meat in here and these raw meat nuggets are the ones I can, uh, I can think melt back down. I don't know. Um, what I might end up doing is I might actually end up setting that to go into a couple of tanks and have the meat one go into the meat packer. Because otherwise it's going to turn the pink slime into meat nuggets, which we need them to not be meat nuggets. So, I'm going to take this redstone furnace and it's going to get popped right there. So now we have a powered furnace. Shift for augment info. Automated output, redstone control, and reconfigurable sides. So, now we have a powered furnace. Hooray! Uh, that means these guys are likely not to get used again. Do I have one? No, I don't. Dang it. Might as well waste it. Um, that's for a uh, project for later on. And so, uh... Sorry if I seem a little twitchy too. I have my mouse sensitivity for something and I haven't turned it back. Uh, let's see. So, our next one is this guy right here. This is the one that we probably should have made a long time ago. Because it is going to be so much nicer. An anvil. This. Two wire. And an advanced wafer. Did I get that wrong? There it is, an electric compressor. Now I don't have to deal with uh, this uh, coal-powered compressor. Now we can run it off of electricity, and then I can hopefully set it up so that it like don't stuff into a chest. Hopefully. So, next item on the agenda is this guy. We need 
to get this guy working because I found out that this guy has silk touch. So, and we'll be using this for the jetpack as well since I don't feel like going all the way down there to, uh, to, uh, make the, to charge up the jetpack. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. So we need one of these guys, a leadstone energy cell. Get rid of you. We need this. A machine frame and two transmission coils to give us the energetic infuser. Wonderful. This guy will go in here. And I'm probably actually going to put him where this is. Because this will get switched out and put in the ME area downstairs where I don't have to think about it. It'll get uh, the treatment that we gave, gave it on... Uh, Sky Factory, which is import bus, export bus, and power, and then we never have to do anything with it again. If we need charged Surge Quartz Crystals, we just pop some Surge Quartz Crystal in here, and the system will automatically pull them out, charge them, dump them back in. So, now what we need is all right here. So we're going to set up a bunch of different things in the space room. This is almost all Galactic Craft. Uh, so we need the refinery. We need the... Hmm. Electric compressor. The circuit fabricator. We'll take this as well. And we're going to go back here. As you can see, I've changed out some of the doors. We have some nice looking doors now. I made them with, uh, these are the carpenter's doors. And this is one of the options you can have on them. If we grab our hammer, we can look at some of the other ones real quick. So we have, if we close it, we have this door, which is a full glass pane. We can make it a solid door with a little bit of an imprint. We can have a mesh door, a 2x4 glass pane door, a solid door, which I did use over there for that one to go downstairs, just because it kind of looks nice. Uh, and it actually only has a handle on this side. So if you put this on a wall that's nothing but this kind of stone, you won't see it. And I kind of like that. Then there's also your plain door and the one that we have. So go over to our NASA room. I haven't put any signs up or anywhere, but I did raise the ceiling in here by one, and I've got our uh, granite corners in. So, the NASA workbench. Where's the middle of the room? There is no middle of the room. We're just going to place you right there. Good enough for me. We're going to take the circuit fabricator and the electric compressor. And these guys are going to go over here. i got to figure out where the power inputs on them are. Okay. So you're going to go here. And the electric compressor has it on the same side. Hmm. We'll put you there. What I'll do is go get some more wire which is hiding in the chest over here i'm also thinking about setting up another room down here excuse me i haven't figured out how i'm going to set it up yet but i think that's going to be the end of our hallway so our little farm for sugar cane and other small stuff will be over here and then there's going to be a room in here it's going to have sheep for wool and what we'll do is if we need to expand any more I don't think we need a whole lot more rooms for expansion. I do have a plan for this room. It's going to be rather complex. It's going to take a lot of diamonds, too. I'm hoping to get some more diamonds soon. So we'll get these guys hooked up. I haven't run the power into this room yet. This guy doesn't require any power, right? No, he doesn't. Okay, good. Add new schematic. Unlock schematics. 
You can find new schematics by completing dungeons on planets and moons. Oh, okay. So that's how we get the other schematics and stuff. Um, the other one we're going to do is the refinery, which if I look at it, power in the top. I don't really like this refinery. What the hell? Oh. If you haven't noticed, I've done uh, quite a bit of lighting too. I completely forgot about that. I was like, what the heck? Um, so that's one thing that the Carpenter's Blocks lets you do, is you can put a facade on it. It's so like in here, you'll see it's all lit up, but there's no torches. It's because there's light in the floors, there's light on the ceilings, and in some of these rooms, there's light on some of these blocks as well. That's why a lot of our rooms don't have any more torches in them. Now this room I did in preparation for today. This room I have not done yet. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do it. Uh, the only thing I can't do is I can't do it on the cobblestone. I have to do it on the floor and ceiling because they're a... Uh, they're a... A, uh, a block type that the textures blend together. But they don't, they're not connected textures like these ones. So like how this one has this edge on it, if I do it on one of these, it's going to create that edge around this block only. Looks really weird. I tried to do it in the farm room and it just didn't look right, so our farm room is a little bit dark. But I don't really like this refinery because it's got the kind of weird placement of stuff. On the left and right, I can't really tell which one is a... Well, I can tell which one's input-output, but... Then it's got the odd power input is on the top. Which I really don't like. So what I might do is we might upgrade the refinery to the, to one of the other ones. Which actually gives it a cool look, too, which is the BC Factory Refinery. The only problem is it takes that diamond gear, which I believe we have one. So let's go ahead and go make that. We don't have any of the tanks either. Yeah, we have that diamond gear. So how do we make these? Just a bunch of glass. Perfect. Can I use these? Yes, I can. I know it takes three of them. Three of them, two redstone torches, and the diamond gear. I've been trying to get rid of all this clear glass because I can't really use it for anything. We'll take these. We need two redstone torches. So I say, say, do we already have tanks in there? No, they're the ones in my inventory. So two redstone torches. Three tanks. And the diamond gear gives us this refinery. Now, the reason I like this refinery so much is because, one, it's got a cool little look to it. And as it's working, these guys move. So we're going to take this guy. He's going to sit over here along the back wall. He's going to have here, here, and here dug out for him. Probably change that out to stone if it's going to be visible like that. I keep forgetting I have a jetpack. <laughs> I always go around like that, but I don't really need to. Let's get two stone. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to semi automate our fuel. Now we'll place him here, place a transfer node here, power there, we'll get a regular pipe on this side, it's going to go down, down, and now we need to go downstairs. Now we'll get everybody hooked up on the power system, we'll get this guy set up, which is why we have these 54 uh, tanks in our inventory because I have a plan for them as well 
which I probably need some more stone because I'm gonna have to dig it into the floor a little bit. Um, so this guy's gonna go right here and like that. Set up the power. Power comes in right above the door. Perfect. Just enough power. And this guy will match that. Now I haven't done any of the lighting in here, so I'll have to come back and do this off camera. But for now we're going to set these guys in the bottom corners. And we'll pop one down here. So what I got to do is I got to dig out a little bit of a trench right here so I can actually get to this stuff. That's not going to work. Ah. Hmm. So that isn't going to work the way I planned. So maybe these 54 tanks isn't enough. For this side it will. Because all I was going to do was 1, 2, 3, 4... Technically, I don't need those up there, but it's going to be a 3x3. Three three. And we'll take one of these, and we'll pop it right there. And then what we'll end up doing is we'll run pipe out here to whenever we need to fill something up with it. Or we'll run it... We'll run it somehow. Now over here, I was going to do the same thing, but I think I may have to do it this way. Because it needs to be able to get underneath... God, I hate these pipes. We need a different system for doing this. Because those are going to try and put it back in there. I don't want it to. Okay, we're going to get a little bit of a redesign on this. I wasn't sure how I was going to do this exactly. So now we're going to get a little bit of a redesign. Just so it works a little bit better. And it's gonna look a little more interesting in here now and I have an idea so it's gonna look a little funky at first so if I do that I can say the torch move it there I got what 27 of these so if I do that Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Our ghost block. We'll do the same thing over here. Except this one. We'll put it like that. And what it's going to do is... Uh, trying to design these things is so difficult. So it's going to sit like that. It's going to look a little funky having that hole up there. So I might fill that with something else. But this one is going to get the exact same treatment. My pick just broke. Great. Just what I need. A broken pick. So we'll... We're going to line these one up on the side of that wall, and eventually, once I can get some more Mimikite, where I can go back into the nether and get the uh, some more blaze rods, we're going to make two more of those ender tanks. 
which I can actually take these guys and jump, dump them in there. Where did this come from? I'll find out in a minute. Uh, what was I doing? Pit. Oh, hello? <laughs> Lag? By the way, good news, I've been all over the place, I've been running back and forth, running inside, outside, and all these guys have stayed, including our squid. So, it looks like our specimen room has worked. Except for one thing. I want to move our pig over here. And our pig is going to get a name. I actually might take the pig out, put something else in there, and the pig is going to roam the base free. Because... Who do I always have around my base? I have Babe. So, I'm gonna probably just start leaving doors open and Babe can wander around the base as she peels. Uh, let's go back over here. Let's get this room finished up. And we will set up the uh, input at outputs for the ender tanks as well. And we're gonna have to... We're eventually gonna have to make two ender tanks or four ender tanks with different colors on them which will be uh one for loading up oil over here because this oil will get drained out pumped up to the refinery the refinery will make it into gasoline gasoline will pump it get pumped out into this one and this one will pump out into another one that'll go to our cargo loaders or our fuel loaders So it'll definitely make things look a little bit cooler. <laughs> Just means this guy has to get moved. Wonderful. Okay, so we got tank, tank. Now, the only problem I do see with this system is that whenever you have to actually, like, fill some stuff. Now, what I could do is actually... Hmm. I'm trying to think here. Because I want this to be symmetrical. Just because it's space stuff, it's gotta look nice. It's gotta look good. Then again, I'm also I'm also the one who likes to do everything symmetrical, so everything's gotta be look, gotta look good. Uh, need you here. Put you there for now, and that. And we will say, you can go in there. That's trying to drain collecting it all. Um, how to figure out how I want to do this, which will be interesting. What I can do... I don't even think I need this one. Well, I know I need it for draining this out, but... Actually, I don't think I want that there. Hmm. So if I do... That should drain back in. Okay, I got those back. Put you back there. I'm going to put you here. And we'll put the ender tank right there. So on this side, the ender tank is going to go over here. I might be able to put it there. Maybe. I don't know. But what I'll do is... I'll pop this guy up there for a second. And do that. And that'll fill it up. Cool. So we got our refinery station set up. We've got our NASA room somewhat set up. 
We need an oxygen collector and fun stuff in there to fill up oxygen tanks. Cargo loader, cargo unloader, oxygen detector, rolling machine, those aren't the same thing. Energy storage module. Use store large amounts of energy for later use. Can I do that using batteries? Can I use this to charge up batteries? I can. Okay, so I'm going to set this guy in there. He's going to help us power some stuff for a little while. Uh, where's your... God dang it. <laughs> Give me the hammer. <laughs> Keep doing that. It's the one problem with using those in the floor is that it's going to want to do that. So I might have to crouch whenever I want to do something. So, if I... not the refinery. Energy storage. Output there, input there. Okay, input's on the right. So we'll pop you right there. He's gonna start filling up with some power. And our space room is starting to take a little bit of shape. I might move you. Because I think what I want to do is we're gonna set you right here. How big was the rocket? Because I think once you place it down, you can't pick it back up. And there's something I want to look into soon, which is going to require all the osmium, which I've been smelting down. We've got osmium ingots and 16 blocks of osmium. And that is... I jump into the quests. Under machines and equipment. Fast traveling. We can do teleporters. Now, I don't know how they work. But, they require all this fun stuff, which is made with a lot of steel and osmium. So it is going to prove useful, useful to some extent. But, we've gotten a bunch of things done. I'm going to look into how I want to do the rest of the lighting. How I want to get like the sheep and other farms up. You can see this room's not as bright as the others. I don't really need it to be super bright. But nothing can spawn in here anyways. If I take this stuff out of the corner, something can spawn there. So I decided to pop that there. I don't think it can spawn on top. No, it can't. But we've got no more wheat in here. This guy needs to be turned off. We have one cow. God dang it. We waited too long. Okay, I need to get another cow for that. Fun! I can always grab our one from the specimen room, pop them in there for a little while, and then pop them back out. Hmm. Let's go ahead and get Babe out of there. We do have a little bit of, uh... Rotten flesh. Here we go. Five rotten flesh. That is... Nowhere near enough for a blood. I'll have to name our pig later, but... I'm going to start leaving doors open, let the pig kind of wander around. I'm going to keep this one closed. I don't want I don't want it, uh, want babe wandering around in here and teleporting. Because then we might never see her again. <laughs> um, but like the rest of these rooms, babe can wander in freely, do whatever she wants. As long as she doesn't hop around in the farm, we should be fine. But it can replant on its own. It's got plenty of seeds in it. So... That's going to be it for this time. It's a little bit of a shorter video. Um, we've been doing a lot of long ones lately. So that's it for this time, guys. If you liked it, hit the like button below. If not, let me know what you don't like in the comments. I still got to figure this room out, too. I don't know if we're going to need that for anything. Might as well have it. We've got a space room. Hooray. I can't even get a like good snapshot or anything of this. There we go. There we go. Got my screenshot. Um, yeah, that's it for this time, guys. I will see you guys next time. What about a skeleton? Did we get a wither? A wither skeleton? We do, and that is what we need. We need to set up a wither skeleton or wither skull farm. We got one last one.